I'm a sucker for medieval castles. <laughs> when fog rolls in. Wow. Some just incredible memes right there, my friends. So, yes, yeah, Sledgehammer bring out for 2012 memes to reveal their DLC 1. And the DLC 1 reveal for World War 2 Zombies got me thinking, and it made me look back at the Eisendrack, right? DLC 1 for Black Ops 3, which happened almost, almost two years ago. That's pretty crazy. So I thought, let's compare these things. Right, I love to do that. Let's look at the trailers and the reactions from the community. In this chapter of our zombie story, we'll be introducing episode 4, the Eisendrack. This is the first chapter in an epic time-traversing zombies odyssey that will unfold over the course of Black Ops 3's four DLC packs in 2016. I'm a sucker for medieval castles. <laughs> That's where we're going in the Eisendrack. We've got this wonderful ancient castle that all the kind of evil forces and all the kind of mind-bending stuff that we do in our zombie storyline is all kind of infested in this one location. The castle was built upon an ancient site where many dark atrocities have occurred over the centuries. The site contains massive deposits of the recently discovered Element 115. This allows us to kind of play with other narrative and thematic elements uh, in a setting which is uh, a personal favorite of mine. On the Awakening DLC, we'll also be introducing four new Mega Gumballs. This chapter is very much about introducing new concepts, but then also bringing it to a conclusion. We're incredibly excited to answer a lot of the questions the community has, bring some sort of resolution to a lot of the torment that we put our fans into, and then also maybe introduce some new concepts to have them puzzling out into the future. So as you can see, it's on next year and the next chapter in Nazi Zombies, The Darkest Shore, the most terrifying chapter we brought to date. For this next chapter in the game, our characters, they've uh, received intel about the movement of Dr. Straub. He's gone to this foggy island just north of Germany. We really wanted to play with something new in this map. We, we wanted to play with this idea of what happens when fog rolls in. You can't see them until they're five feet away from you. It's really creepy. There's a sense of things that could come out from the fog. For the Darkest Shore is that we have a new weapon called the Ripsaw. My favorite weapon in the game thus far. It is a combination buzzsaw, gun, and it handles zombies up close and at a distance. We've gotten experimental with some of the, uh, the gameplay here, and we've created a new zombie. This is a zombie that is clever, that is strategic. It is uh, one of the scariest creations that I've ever seen. So there was the two previews for DLC 1 from Black Ops 3 Zombies and then World War 2 Zombies. Now, two different things happened with these trailers, right? The one for Black Ops 3 came out and the Zombies community hype train turned into a hype rocket and, went, you know, boys, we, we went to Neptune or something. I, d I don't even know, I don't even know. Then with World War 2 Zombies, this trailer came out and... I've seen more negativity, not gonna lie, on Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, everywhere I go where the zombies community is, I've seen negativity around DLC 1, people just saying it's bad already, we haven't even played the map. So why, why has this happened, right, that's what we're comparing it, what was the difference in these trailers and the community's reaction, I've just got to say that the trailer for the Eisendrack made DE just seem so much more interesting, I think it's for Treyarch magic, I think that's the whole thing of this video, right, that Treyarch Zombies has the Treyarch magic, and that's why it's so popular, but the Eisendrack trailer, you know, they hinted at, well, they showed us the new gobble gums, they showed us the keeper language, the backstory of the map, and with World War II Zombies, it just, even just this trailer alone, you can see the differences, and I think that's why there's the difference in the community's reaction. So, you know, I think it's a very interesting topic, since the trailer for World War II Zombies DLC 1 just came out, right, the DLC season is kicking off, and the Zombies community simply doesn't seem interested. And honestly, that's something that World War II Zombies has made me realise, that I, I think World War II Zombies is pretty solid, I even think Infinite Warfare Zombies isn't that bad, isn't as bad as some people made it out to be. If it's not Treyarch, the Zombies community simply isn't interested. No matter if World War II Zombies was the best, people wouldn't care. Treyarch Zombies is king, 
Treyarch, please come back. I, I think that's what this video was about. I'm not even sure. Stay spicy, my friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Whatever the next one even is. I, I'm not even sure.